Hi Capricorn, this is Crystal Rose, a comfy soul, and I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with the Tarot of Sexual Magic, and I'm going to finish with the Archetype Cards by Carolyn Mace. And with this deck, I'm going to look at the light aspects and the shadow attributes of your energy and the energy of the other person or your situation, whatever it is. And from there, you'll be able to know if you're moving forward in the right direction energetically or if you need to adjust something um, through the shadow attributes. So you'll know, you'll recognize it when I tell you what it looks like. And then you'll be able to continue moving forward from there. This channel is no judgment, baby. Everyone's on a learning curve. We all learn at different times. We're all moving forward. No one has all the answers. So fuck it. Right? Right. Okay, let's keep going. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So the song that's on right now in the background is Barry White, Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Babe. Darling, I can't get enough of your love, babe. Oh no, babe, baby. I didn't, it didn't take all of my life to find you, but you can believe it's going to take the rest of my life to keep you. <laughs> that's so cute. I like that. I like that you had a life prior to this person, whoever this is. That's, that's what matters. All right. Wow, wow, wow. Are you just on a damn mission? Because dang. Okay, I see what's happening. Wow. Like right off the bat, I only pulled like one card before I went wow. And then the second one made me go, oh, okay, I get it. I see what's happening. All right. Ten of Cups, yo. This is somebody who's looking for emotional fulfillment and happiness in the form of a romantic offer. So here you are, possibly open to a romantic offer to somebody. But look, there they are in the background walking away. That motherfucker, did he hit it and quit it? Fuck him, right? Fuck that guy. Um, you, And look at your sweet little face. You're just like, hey, I love you. And they're like, oh, uh, what? It's, it's almost like, it's like, it's like you need to give them a book, Love for Dummies. Like they literally do not see the offer. They just don't. Um, so I see you looking at something in the past and you're kind of sad about it. I don't, I think it just didn't come all the way to fruition. You were just, you know, where's our pictures? Where's us together? Where's our thing? Like sad. Okay, so I get it. I get it reminiscing, remembering, really looking at like, I'm hearing even past relationships, going through a lot of healing and doing past relationship healing, as well as looking at the current situation that you're interested in. Earth, wind and fire, love's holiday. Would you mind if I touch, if I kiss, if I held you tight in the morning light? Yeah, would you mind? If I said how I felt tenderly tonight. Yes. So you're looking to make an offer towards somebody, but look at how this song is asking permission. Can I love you? Is it safe? It's like now Spirit's showing me a picture of you getting on a horse and it looks all cool. And then you get on it and you're, you don't know if it's going to be a bucking bronco. Um, <laughs> and then I look down at the card I just pulled. <laughs> With the Knight of Pentacles, which has a fucking horse. So, I mean, it's not fucking. It's not that kind of deck. <laughs> that is so wrong, Crystal. Stop it. Okay. Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. You have somebody that is like, I mean, you are really a very passionate person who wants to move forward and has a lot to offer and wants to be with somebody, right? Let's keep going. I really feel like you feel the passion and the energy with this person. You see who they are. You know what's great about you? Besides literally everything. <laughs> is that you are so loving with how you offer your love. It's connected. You're willing to share. It's genuine. You're just a very loving person. I love that. Okay, um, I just had like three spazzy cards fly into my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and take those. And they came out all in one shot. Boom! Flipped themselves over. Like, take me! Except I felt like I pulled them like this. <laughs> Bam! Cards. <laughs> okay. Um, so it must be that 
Mercury retrograde energies. Do you feel like awkward in the retrograde? Are you having awkwardness? Is that your thing? Because I totally feel like a doofus right now. All right, the tower. Yeah, see, you have a passionate connection. You want to get down with the get down, but you're like, my whole world is shaken up and I'm willing to do whatever I got to do to keep moving on and keep myself sane. So what is shaking up in your world? You want a love beginning. You believe this is your soulmate. That's You're waiting for an offer. You're open. You're waiting. I don't think that you would be sitting here in this position waiting to see what this person's going to do if you didn't truly have some kind of awesome beginning with them that just kind of ended. So here's this beautiful connection. And this doesn't have to be physical. It could totally just be some words exchanged, uh, one time you hung out, like just a perfect date kind of thing, you know, like it really felt connected. And I, this is my twin card, the four of wands. So you truly believe that this is your soulmate, right? So let's look at the person on the other side. Let's see. Make love to you, baby, till I'm satisfied. Look into your eyes till I'm hypnotized. Make love to you, baby, till I'm satisfied. Look into your eyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. You're very focused. I love your passion. I love your energy. So let's see how we're going to turn this around or like what's going on with the other person. Because you seem to be fairly in chill mode waiting for something to occur. Okay. Uh, I think that they have come to a crossroads. They understand that it's time and you're waiting for them to say something and make this commitment and make a choice. I'm also hearing some of you are waiting for them to divorce. That's why the, that's what the judgment card means. Um, some of them have kids, so they want to make sure that their kids are going to be okay. They don't want to put their kids through that again. Yes, keep moving. Thank you. <laughs> Seven of Wands. I see somebody who's trying to sneak their way in. Mm-hmm. Notice they're fully clothed. That's a very rare thing in this deck. And there's a genuine connection. This is someone sharing some feelings, um, showing you a little positive action in a romantic way. The song just changed. Chaka Khan, I feel for you. <laughs> I want to rock you, Chaka Baby, because you make me want to scream. Let me rock you, rock you. Baby, baby, when I look at you, I get a warm feeling inside. There's something about the things you do that keeps me satisfied. I wouldn't lie to you, baby. It's mainly a physical thing. This feeling that I got for you, baby, it makes me want to sing. I feel for you. So they don't really trust themselves with how they feel about you and how really, really hot for you they are because they've kind of done things um, in a not so great, safe way before going after their hot feelings for people that just didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. So they're slowing it down because they don't really trust themselves, right? So let's keep going. <laughs> they're so defeated by you and your sexy and everything they love about you. They just love you. Any chance they get to play with you, talk to you, see you, hear about you, watch you walk away, check out that booty. They love you. They love how they love you and your body and just everything. They're so attached to you. Isn't that crazy how they don't say nothing and they love you like that? It's enough to make a serious decision in all kinds of ways. Four of Pentacles. Here they are being cautious. Am I safe? Is it safe? Can I make a move? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. I feel for you. I think I love you. Oh, this fell out. Seven of Cups. Yeah, they're on their way. It's slow. It's slow, but they're going to make their way over. Look at this turtle. They'll get there one way or another. I'm hearing they're going to find you. They're going to get you, get you, get you, get you. That's not on the songs. It's just in my head. They're coming. And I think you know that or you wouldn't be in the energy that you're in about this. Let me get some archetype cards 
and we're going to see about <sighs> you and your light and shadow work and them and their light and shadow work. Oh, this came out. I like it. Couldn't have it any other way for Capricorn. And I just kind of pulled two out. So I'm going to go ahead and take those two for the other person. Let's see. You have the goddess energy. I like it. Now, if you're not there yet, you're using your body to exploit this person's feelings. You're shaking them titties and you're putting them out there, showing the girls, you're like, you're letting the girls speak for you, right? This is for guys too. You can have titties, don't worry. <laughs> um, goddess. <laughs> so in the light attribute, if you're in the right place with your energy and manifesting this as I think you are, the feminine expressed through wisdom nature, life force, and sensuality. So this is using all the parts of everything that's awesome about you in the right way. Positive, natural, seductive qualities that you're just owning you. You shine. Of course people want you. It's This is really owning your self-esteem, right? The shadow attribute is exploiting that and, you know, using using that to keep them attached to you, using your body or, or whatever offerings you have, like Oh, I'm not even going to say that. Yes, I am. I'm going to suck your dick, and that's how I'm going to show you I love you, and then you're going to stay, but I'm, I'm going to not take you telling me how you feel about me, and if you keep coming back for me to suck your dick, then we're going to be okay. Don't do that. <laughs> that would be negative. The positive says, I know I'm sexy, and I know you want this, but you can't have it until um, you tell me how you feel. Goddess. All right, next. Detective and seeker. Detective, light attributes. Great powers of observation and intuition, the desire to seek out the truth. So this is someone who wants to get to the bottom of things, right? The shadow attribute is they're peeking in your fucking window, being a voyeur and falsifying information to try to make themselves look good. So, you know, if you have a creeper or if you have someone who's like sharing bits of info and gathering information and learning about you and just kind of seeing what you're about. <laughs> And the seeker, the light attribute is the thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So really looking for, is this the right thing for me? Versus the shadow attribute of them, the inability to commit to a path once found. You might know that about them. <laughs> um, if they're not committing, they're still seeking. If they're actively being detect detective and gathering info and looking forward, then you know that they're actually making moves toward you. Even though it's slow, it's methodical, but it's grounded. It's not crazy. You're no you know it's not going to end when they choose you. Let me put it that way. I like this. Slow and steady wins the race, baby. Um, I'm going to leave it there. If this resonates with you, please comment. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I truly appreciate you being here. If you'd like a personal reading or to purchase the decks, you can get those down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.